Hi guys, Mac Studio A here, and in this episode, how to use Freeform on macOS Sonoma. Freeform is the ultimate whiteboard for macOS 13.1 or later, iOS 16.2 or later, and iPadOS 16.2 or later. In this demo, I'll be showing how to set up Freeform on the Mac running macOS Sonoma and also showing how easy it is to add content from your iPhone or iPad to the board. Let's jump straight into it. On your Mac, open the Freeform app. As shown, when opening the Freeform app for the first time, you're presented with the following screen and reminded to enable iCloud syncing to sync your boards across devices by signing into your iCloud account with your Apple ID. You're then presented with a blank board to add content. This is purely optional. I normally create a large blank locked canvas to add content to as shown. Now, let's briefly take a look at some of the tools, features and options available when using Freeform on the Mac. From the toolbar and moving right to left from the top right corner, you have the following options. To create a new board, aka whiteboard or share a board for collaboration. Moving left, you have the following options. 1. Click on the folder icon and choose a file to add to your board or simply drag and drop to add a file. Hi guys, welcome to Mac Studio A and it 2. Click the photo icon to add photo or movie from Photos app or take a photo, scan documents or add sketch from your iPhone or iPad. You can also right click on your board to add content from your iPhone or iPad. I'll just click on take photo to take a photo from the iPhone. Click on photo taken for additional options like remove background as shown. Similarly, repeat same procedure and click on add sketch to add a sketch from the iPad as shown. Three, click the text icon to add text to your board. Four, click the shape icon to add a line, shape or use the pen tool to draw your own straight or curved line as shown. With a library of over 700 shapes and objects to choose from, some, not all, are customizable. As shown, let's customize the taco object. After selecting the taco objects, from the menu bar, click Format, then on Shapes and Lines, then on Break Apart. Now, select individual shapes to customize as shown. Once completed, select all shapes, right click and group. Here's some shapes I've customized before. Moving on. 5. Click the sticky note icon to add a sticky note or notes to your board as shown. Next, click on Untitled to rename your board. Click the sidebar icon here to show or hide the sidebar. On the bottom left corner, click the drop down list to zoom to selection or zoom to fit content. Moving to the bottom right corner, click the connection icon to easily connect object by turning on or off connectors. To display or add dots to your whiteboard, click the dots icon here. Here's a freeform cheat sheet whiteboard that I created before using the tools and options just shown when using freeform on the Mac.
thumbs up if you like this episode, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so and don't forget to hit that bell icon to be notified of the next upcoming episode. Peace.